Good afternoon guys. Today we want to install this DC Starplex. I'm going to show you how to, to install it. Well, the way I do it. And the brand on this one is American Standard. It's a four-ton unit. So we're going to go to the disconnect switch and then we want to pull this one out like this and the way you pull it the way you place it here on the top so you know how to put it back okay guys we already opened the, the panel we have the contactor here dual run capacitor okay everything looks good in good shape all right so now we're gonna let me see I have to check, make sure that we have a space. Customer is asking to put this one inside. So, let me see. I think we're good. Yeah. So this one is gonna go here on the inside. We normally put it on the bottom part or sometimes we put it here. But this one has enough room to put it here inside this little cabinet so we're going to place it there we're going to connect our wires so now i'm going to show you how to connect the put the connectors on the wires okay stay with me we're going to start with the orange cable this one is a number 14 cable so we want to use this connector right here and you twist it a little bit and then we're going to go all the way in this little line right here once we have it there now we can put a little bit of pressure turn it around now you can pull it a little bit make sure it's tight so that one's good now the black one the black one is also number 14 cable we're also going to use the blue one okay and go all the way in to the little line and now press press and then we turn it and there you have it a little pull it's good and this the white one this one is a number 10 cable so we're going to use number 10 connector this one here all right so all the way there and press and there you have it guys the brown one we're not gonna do anything on the brown one because that one is gonna be spliced with the other cable i'll show you in a little bit okay so before we work here we have to make sure we have no power have no power and now we have to discharge the capacitor you can use a screwdriver and you just have to put the, co the connectors together or the contacts together just like that the orange cable is gonna go on the harms okay so how do we know which one is the harm here normally the harm has only three contacts but I have two on this uh, capacitor I have two with three contacts so how do I know the easiest way to do it is go to the wiring diagram here here you can find out which one is which so i already read it and this one is the common this one right here is the herm orange cable is gonna go here on the herm okay there you go then the black cable is gonna go on l1 L1 is here, L2 is this one right here. So black cable goes on L1. It's 
So the the contactor has like a lot, like a four contacts. You can use any of the four ones. It doesn't matter where you put it. Now the white cable, this one is gonna go on L2. But we have to remove this cable that goes to the compressor. Okay, I see now. So we undo the red one and we wanna put the screw back to the contactor. And now the white cable is gonna go on the L2, which is on the right side of the contactor. Okay, so we have that now. The brown cable is gonna go, we're gonna splice it together with the brown cable, the red and brown, they're gonna be spliced together. This one goes before it was here on the contactor. This one goes to the compressor, so this one is going to be spliced together with brown cable. There you go. Twist it a little bit. And now, put the one first. And now, the second one. There you go. That's good. Okay, so now we already connect our micro airflex. Right there. there you go. Okay, so we already have our micro airflex on place. This is where it's gonna go. Now remember this guys, if you're not feeling comfortable working with electricity, just hire a licensed electrician so, or HVAC tech to do this for you because there is a lot of risks if you don't connect this well you can kill the capacitor, contactor, and the worst scenarios, the compressor or the control board. So if you don't feeling sure about how to install this yourself, it's better to contact a professional to do it for you. Okay, so this one's ready to go. Now um, it's time to connect the this thing back uh, also we had to turn on the thermostat because I told the customer to turn it off okay so the AC is on everything looks good so now we had to do five, five learning starts the app we're gonna delete this one. Now connect. Okay, so it has one learning star, which is this one here, and it has 36.3 amps. The first star. Okay. Okay, so this is the final lo uh, learning star. We already did four. In about six seconds, one second, the compressor is gonna kick on. There you go. So we went down to 23.5 amps. Okay. So this is ready, ready to go. If you like the videos, guys, like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. Have a good day.